familiar about the smell here. Yeah. Ooh. Blue light. It's probably the dolls. Which one of you? There you are. Oh. Looks like the same doll. Oh, is this a puzzle? There are dolls around this display in a large doll stand. It must have been a girl's room. The dolls are falling to pieces now. Some of the dolls are even missing their heads. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. Hmm. I'm gonna take another photo just to make sure that I'm not seeing things. Uh, it's just only. Oh, it's this missing one, right? Either the one that's missing a head or this empty space. Something shows in the photo. Yeah. Okay. I th it's hard to tell if this was. Is this a puzzle? It probably is. I'm guessing I gotta find the doll. One quick sweep first though, in this room. Looks like they've been rearranged or something. There's still another empty spot, but it's different from... from this. So, I'm not exactly sure what to do. I can't interact with these dolls and rearrange them or anything. Oh well, let's go. We'll figure out what to do later, I'm sure. But where to go now? Oh. Oh, dead lady. Another thing I noticed during the cutscenes was, um, like, during the cutscene of the folklorists coming into the village, there was, a, there are, there was a lot of, um, scenery about ropes. Like, I don't know if it was a woman or a man, but somebody was, like, tied with a bunch of ropes and put above a cavern. And the Kusabi demon in that other room looked like he had ropes around him when I took its photo. I should probably stop talking because it's making it really hard to take this lady's picture. Okay, where, where'd she go? Where'd she go? She's nowhere to be. There she is. Creepy, creepy lady. Like, I want to say show me your face, but at the same time I don't because it's, it's... It just means that she's gonna pop out at us. Come on, come on. Damn it. Damn it. Fuck. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Backed myself in a corner again. Stop, please. Oh, jeez, are you kidding? Fuck, why is this so hard? No, ooh. What the hell? That was weird. I was expecting to be attacked. Damn it. Damn it! Finally, shit. Show me your face. Ugh. Oh, and I didn't get it, damn it. Okay, what? It's gonna take probably like three more zero shots. gonna jump out at me oh okay all right one more one more things are happening for me now come on come on come on be gentle oh oh no 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 holy shit oh she's right there 
I do appreciate the auto lock on. Like, when you pick up the camera, Mio automatically knows where to where to look. Twin doll heads. Okay. Let's go back in the other room, finish that puzzle. That was terrible. Terrible. Let's see here though. Insert the doll heads? Yes. It seems like inserting their head makes the mechanism start to work. I hear something. The two chosen children shall be carried to heaven on the wings of a butterfly. A butterfly that will save this village. Oh shit, time is ticking. Um, select doll, move doll. Leave? Why is this timed? Oh, what the hell? Oh, you can only move things up or down into an empty space. I understand. Let's take a picture. God, my you stop being fucking weird. I know you're probably hearing things, but shit. Okay. There's a emperor-looking one on the top right. Dude playing a flute two spaces below next to a headless guy and I'm gonna just call that a red lady in a uh, lady in a red dress okay okay hopes hopefully I can do this I hear something the two chosen children shall be carried to heaven on the wings of a butterfly a butterfly that will save this village For God's sakes, please be right. Please be right. Please be right. Yes! Third try. Nice. A sound came from the small drawer on the doll stand. As if it just unlocked. A butterfly designed. Okay. Now we can go do that butterfly door. Alright. Alright, so the two chosen ones become butterflies, they go to heaven, yada yada, but why do they come back and fuck everything up? Now which door was the butterfly door? I actually don't remember. I don't think it's close. I, I have a feeling it's not nearby. Um... It was, and what I do, or what I do remember is the butterfly door was right across from a door that was open. It wasn't locked. It's not this door, so it must be downstairs. So I mean, I'm gonna have to run through the kusabi again. Kurosawa house map. Ooh. Folklorist part six. The twin girls of the house gave me a map that shows a side door. They said that the hidden ceremony is near, and I should escape out the side door during the night. They left so quickly I couldn't even ask him about it. The other people in the house are acting normally. Was there some ulterior motive behind the generous hospitality? Just to be safe, I will tell Munakata to go home ahead of me. Okay, so... Munakata is is the uh, geological no. servant. Yo, I'm right here. Calm down. Munakata is the uh, surveyor that went missing. I think he might be the assistant to the folklorist. Cause um during the cutscene or and and during the um not during the cutscene during the folklorist pages. 
It mentions his name, his first one. Oh, never mind, I take that back. Munakata is the assistant, and I thought his first name was Itsuki, but Itsuki and Mutsuki are twins and are friends of Munakata's. Okay, I see, I see. Maybe that's why he came along. He's trying to find his friends? I don't know. God damn it. Yeah, fuck yeah, not us. We didn't do shit. Why are we going through this? That door is still stuck. Time to leave. It's also time to save. Okay. It's time to mosey on down to that crimson room. Or, not the crimson room, that butterfly mark. Mm. That butterfly mark door. I'm pretty sure it was at the. Fuck. Sup, sis? I think that calling man is probably the father of the twins, right? Or a priest or somebody important. He's probably that dude who was, um. Introducing the um the folklorist to the twins when the folklorist first came to the village. Now I see something glowing around here. What was it? Hmm, it's something it's something down here, but I can't get anything to prompt up, so Oh! There it is. Garden Woman. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I, I think the butterfly marked door was at the very beginning of this area. So we got a mosey on over there. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's go. I don't want to kill anymore. Okay. You're getting, you're getting really weird. She's getting really weird. She's saying really weird things. Okay. Oh! There it's- there it is. Hey, friend. That's, uh... Let's relax. You want me to take your- Damn it, your picture? I can do that. I'm doing really bad. Okay. Relax. Relax, relax. That should do some damage. This guy's got a lot of health. And the window for these, uh, these fatal frames are very small. Now here's the question. Are they attacking Mayu on purpose? Or are they just trying to attack something? Because I think she might be possessed by Sae right now. That must mean that the woman who uh, was in the white kimono with blood stains on it in the center of that room, that must be Sae. The ritual must have gone really wrong and she must have killed everybody. Yeah, I think Sai's ghost might be possessing Mayu. Anyway. Yeah, they're attacking her for sure. Now, 
where is that guy? Where is he? Oh, we go take take my sister. Shit, leave me. Another zero shot. I'm gonna see if I can practice this comboing thing. Wait for it to blink red. Duh, you know what? That's greedy. Just I should just try to take the photo when I can. Oh, okay, Mister. Back up, back up, please. No, don't do it. I think we're backed up. Oh, I was backed up in a corner. Yeah, it wasn't. This wasn't the first time. The um, the, the ghosts were attacking Mayu. When we first picked her up again, and then we I, I fought that woman that just would not look up, she was she seemed like she was chasing after Mayu too. Could these ghosts be trying to seek their revenge? There we go. That was that took a little bit of time. Something that I've noticed so far is that this game has less ghosts than Fatal Frame 1, but all the ghosts that you've or that I've fought so far are a bit tougher. You know they they all give me either a a stone to listen on the radio or like a huge amounts of like upgrade points. Like I did not expect to get 30 32,000 by now. That's crazy. Alright, maximum range done. Um, let's go with Raze's max spirit power. That way I can use the blast one. That'll be cool. Okay. Add a spirit orb. And the next time I get 4,000 points, I'm putting it right into accumulation. It wasn't in this way. God damn it, Mayu, you are not you are not Sai. You need to relax. She kept on looking towards this direction. This this direction here as we were walking away. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if going into this area is gonna trigger anything for her. Yo. You gonna say anything interesting? No? She was just looking around? Okay, never mind, let's go back. The uh, butterfly locked door should be like beyond this room. Because I think this was the first room I entered from this hallway. Yeah, yeah, it's that door right here. Why do you run? Damn, I missed him. I wonder if the front door is still locked. Maybe we can check out that small little side door. Oh. Oh, what the freak? I gotta admit, that was pretty good. I did not expect that. Countless handprints on the door. Yeah, it's still locked, though. Alright then, no choice but to go into this butterfly room. I see an item up top. Not sure how to get it though. Keep that in mind for later. Herbal medicine? Ooh. Oh, creepy. 
Hello. Yeah. Okay. Go inside that creepy door with the creepy kid. Or go upstairs. Ooh, sacred water. Nice! Just, I'm running around just like clicking X randomly. Sometimes it works and you find something. That's cool. Um, gonna go in here. And check every- Whoa! Damn. Missed it. Okay, I thought this was just gonna be a little side room. But it's a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Okay, the double door is stuck. That makes this- Whoa! That makes this double door, and there's one door upstairs on the other wing of this building uh, still locked as well. This looks like the um, the tunnels that we saw in that footage I found in that one random room. Okay, another locked door. Alright, we'll come back here when we have that key. We'll probably find it upstairs. Come on, Mayu. That's right. No need to look around so much. You're just gonna freak yourself out. It's uh, it's pretty dark in here. Let's see. What the freak is this? 14 film? They're like individual partitions, but what for? Meals? Okay. Um. Mio, there's something over here. Part of the floor is broken. You can see down the, to the floor below. Okay, there seems to be something caught in a spider web across the hole. Why, why can't we just reach it? Why, why the hell can't I just grab it? Whoa! Get out of the way! Damn it, Mayu! Damn it! Okay, is this a door? Yeah. I'm guessing we're gonna. Sp oh, I'm gonna check this partition over here too. Okay, never mind. There's nothing. Um, we're probably gonna find something in this room to knock down that rotting, that little rotted piece over there, and knock the item down onto the first floor. The entrance of the room, there stands a demonic looking statue. And I. Are these masks on the wall? Taboo Tome. Among the carefully arranged books, one book in particular clearly stands out. The Taboo Tome. The gate to hell is called the Asterisk. Gaze not upon the Asterisk. Eyes that glimpse the Asterisk will be blinded by the Asterisk. Speak not of the Asterisk. The mouth which utters asterisk will be made speechless by the asterisk. Listen not to the asterisk. Those who heed the asterisk are turned into heartless by the asterisk. <laughs> Damn it! Ceremony Master's Note 2 An outsider visited with perfect timing. I'll use him for the hidden ceremony and pacify the asterisk. We must ensure he doesn't escape before that. Now. I think the asterisk isn't like it means the kusabi. It's obviously a sensor, but and you know they're not supposed to mention the the demon or whatever the heck it is. But it's probably the kusabi. But I'm not calling it the kusabi because you never know. There could be something else at work here. Let's Ritual tone. If the asterisk rumbles on a year without the ceremony, a kusabi is needed. A kusabi is an outsider, made into a Buddha, and offered to the asterisk. The more they suffer, the greater the calming of the asterisk. See, exactly, there it is. The kusabi is not the asterisk. The kusabi is somebody that's an offering. Oh, does that mean that demon in the room that Sae, that we saw Sai in? Was that the kusabi? Was that maybe Munakata? 
turned into a kusabi? Oh shit, oh shit. Interesting. Disaster tome. If the ritual is not performed, the asterisk will open. Inhuman wretches shall burst forth from the asterisk. Villagers will be engulfed by the asterisk, and the sky will be plunged into darkness. The darkness will spread over the land for generations, awaking the asterisk. We must think of this disaster as the repentance for our failure to fulfill the duty to the asterisk, which grants us life. We must accept that this is the reason for our existence. Huh. Ain't that something else? Okay, any more? Any more tomes and books and readings? Yes, Crimson Wing Tome. Shrine maidens of the past and future, made into crimson butterflies, return from the blank as guardians of the village. Those that become butterflies ascend to heaven, parting the skies above, inviting the light upon us. <laughs>